The international financial reporting standards are issued by the International Accounting Standards Board, or IASB. The IASB is an independent accounting standard setting body based in London that is currently composed of 15 members from nine countries, including the United States. Currently, more than 100 countries require or permit the use of IFRS. In North America, the Canadian Accounting Standards Board is requiring the adoption of IFRS for fiscal years beginning on or after January 1, 2011. Many foreign-based subsidiaries of U.S. multinationals already prepare IFRS financial statements. And many people are of the opinion that adoption of IFRS is not a matter of if, but when, with the time frame being no earlier than 2015 or 2016. But then some believe the SEC may decide to allow companies to choose between using U.S. GAAP or IFRS rather than requiring the use of one or the other. And so at this point, it's anyone's guess. In December 2010, Paul Beswick, Deputy Chief Accountant of the Security Exchange Commission, indicated that the SEC may take a different tack to converging U.S. GAAP with the IFRS. This new approach he termed condorsement. Condorsement involves continuing on with U.S. GAAP, while the FASB continues working to converge with IFRS for existing and any newly issued standards. The SEC believes a single set of high-quality global accounting standards would benefit investors, and so their plan is to continue to encourage convergence between U.S. GAAP and IFRS, and will consider all factors before making a determination on whether or not to incorporate IFRS into the U.S. financial reporting system. And we're all hoping this determination will be made sometime in 2011. To gather additional information on the potential impact of transitioning to IFRS, the SEC is sponsoring a roundtable on July 7, 2011, with investors, smaller public companies, and regulators to discuss the benefits and challenges of adopting IFRS here in the U.S. The FASB and IASB have been working together since 2002 to improve both U.S. GAAP and IFRS, and to eliminate the differences between the two standards. The IASB and FASB recently issued a progress report on their convergence projects, revising their work plan to allow more time to complete the revenue recognition, leases, and financial instruments projects. They now expect their projects to be completed sometime in the second half of 2011.